All right, so hello guys and welcome to today's video. Now in today's video, we're going to be learning Still Standing by Izzo Hewton. So let's go. Okay, so as I said, we're going to be learning Still Standing by Izzo Hewton. Uh, this is a nice, wonderful song. Um, if you're, if you're, um, if this is the first kind of song you're trying to learn, and you, you're not really sure on how to go about learning songs, I have a video on how I learn songs. Um, I'm going to put it in one of the cards above. You'll see it on one of these areas, and it's also going to be in the description box down below. But, um, you know, when we try to learn songs, the first thing you want to do is, you want to listen to the song a number of times. You don't need your bass on you to do that. You just listen to the song a number of times. Uh, why do we do that? So the reason why is so that we can, first of all, get the order of the song. How does the song go? Is it is there an intro? Is there a verse, verse, chorus, verse, 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 bridge, 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 chorus, chorus? You get what I mean? That's what we mean by the order of the song. Then the second reason why we listen to the song a couple of times is to for, it's like to gauge to get a general sense of the melody you know to try and just figure out roughly what is going on in the song and then the third reason why we listen to the song a couple of times is so that we can try and get what the key is so or no that's what we do actually when we pick up our bass so yeah when you got your bass in your hand the first thing you need to do is what key is the song you've just heard so as you know this song is in the key of E. So, so one thing to note, um, which I don't think I've mentioned, is that my bass is tuned down a whole step. So if you're tuned standard, everything that I would play is two frets, you know, towards the bridge, uh, further away from where you normally play. So with your tune standard, your E is normally an open string, but as I said. Because I tune down the whole step, everything I do is two frets more towards the bridge. So that's why my E is on the second fret of this string. So yeah, um, that's just um, a little disclaimer there for you. Um, so we know the song is in the key of E. And um, I'm going to be using the number system to teach. Um, if you don't have an idea of what the number system is, it's not a problem. I have a video for you, which um, I'll put in the card above and also in the description box down below which covers the number system so you can be use that to try and learn and understand what the number system is all right okay so let's just go straight into the song and we're going to start so what how we're going to do is we're going to learn each section piece by piece and then once you've done that we'll play it through once and then we have the whole song all right so let's go so here we have the intro Alright, so I'm just going to play the intro, then I'm going to say what notes is being used, alright? So, so here we have, one, two, three, four, notes. So, here, so basically, the intro starts on the one. So, one, two, three, two sharp, two, one sharp, one. So we'll go over that line again. One, two, three, two sharp, two, one sharp, one. Then there's a little fast section here. One, two, so yeah, one, two, three, five, five, six, one. Yeah. Then you 
repeat that line again. One, two, three, two sharp, two. Then this time, on the second time, you play the three. Instead of, because you know the first time you play the one sharp, but here you play the three instead. So two, three, then you go into the verse. So I'll just play it once again and then we'll listen to the next part. I'll play it slowly this time. So now we're going to listen to the verse. You gave me courage to believe And all your goodness I will see In the land of the living yeah. So we're going to break the verse into two parts. So that's the first part, yeah? So remember, we end the intro on the three. So the verse now starts on the six, seven, one, one, six, five, one, one. So now I'm going to play no talking. So now, next part. And if it had not been for you Standing on my side Where would I be? Alright, so... Um, so how did we end? Uh, it came so, this part now starts on the six again. Six... Seven... Um, how did it go again? And if it had not been for you, standing on Okay. So, six, seven, three, two, one sharp. Seven, six, two. So I'm gonna play that again. So it says, so it's like this. No. I think in my actual video, what I did was um, uh, three, two, one, sharp, three, six. But actually, it's supposed to be three, two, one, sharp. Seven six. So that's my bad in the video. So you see, this is why it's very important to listen to the song over and over again, so you don't make mistakes like that. All right. So you can see a practical reason as me as an example of why you need to do that. Okay. So uh, that's that done. So. So, the chorus, it starts on a one. One, one, two, four, five, one, two, four, one, two, four, five, three. Two, four, 
Alright, so now I'm gonna play No Talking. Alright, so what I just did is a little hammer on because okay, you're not trying to get too technical, but if you look at this, this you can take this as a one five one kind of but if I don't play the lower A, so one five one kind of but over the four, so yeah. I'm not trying to get too technical. If you don't understand that, just scrap it, alright? So Alright. So then it now goes back into the intro part. Then verse two. Then chorus again. So now we're just gonna look for the bridge, alright? So the way you go into the bridge, just the way the chorus ends, is on the four. All right. So then. All right. So. What you just heard, it loops itself over and over again, all right? So, how does it go? So, I'm just gonna play it first, then I'm gonna break it down properly, yeah? So I'm gonna play it like real time and slow it down. So, it's gonna be five, uh, so it's a five and you hammer on to six, hammer on to the six. Then you play the one, then you play the six again. But it's all very, very fast, yeah? So, so you see, I'm only plucking on the five. Then one, six, yeah? Then you play one, two, three. One, two, three, five, six, four. So five, six, one, six. But this time you play each note. And you do it twice. Then this time you play one sharp, two, three. One. So one sharp, two, three, five. One sharp, two. Sorry, yeah. One sharp, two, three. Yeah. Five. Yeah, five. Then this one is, this one, it, it messes up in my hands, but I know it. So, you're going to hammer on on the two to the three, and then you slide to the one. Yeah. Do you get that? So, so from the two, you only play the two, two, slide, no, hammer on to the three, then the one. Yeah. Yeah. Two, three, one. Then six, five, six, one, six. Then it just loops itself again, yeah? So I'm gonna try and do it very slowly. All right. So one, two, three, four. 
So, I don't think I covered uh, uh, after that. Uh, so then it's one, two, three, five, six, one, six, two, three. Then there's a little pause, then six. All right, so that's basically the bridge, and then all those different parts loop itself. So now we're gonna go through the song from head to toe, and then this wonderful video is done. All right. So let's go. So from the intro, one, two, three, and So the, towards the ending of the chorus, so I'm still standing four, three, I'm still st two, two, then you kind of do the chorus, no, the intro, one, two, three, two sharp, two, So, guys, that's the end of that nice, wonderful song. Um, I hope this video has really helped and been a blessing to you. Um, please do like, share, subscribe. Let your friends know that this video is out there. All right. So, yeah, um, hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Hopefully the next video will be coming very shortly. So, please do subscribe and be on the lookout. All right. Nice one. Stay blessed.